guys, this is Andres Smirnoff with the Fast Lane Truck and Kent with MrTruck.com. Thanks for being here for another fun episode. Oh, this is fun, but this is what, episode... Five. Five. Oh, we're getting along. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Um, before we start the, with the questions, and by the way, thank you for submitting your questions to us, TFL Truck and MrTruck.com. We wanted to announce a contest. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. If you are a truck nuts and you have your favorite truck and you have a story about it, you can send it in to ask at tfltruck.com. Send a few pictures of your truck and a description or a story about your truck. We'll look at the submissions and the number one story will win this. We'll win the book. This book. And your story will be published at tfltruck.com. Or what's behind the curtain number one. So, yeah. So, let's start. We have five questions to go over. Okay. All right. The first question comes from Levi White. And he says, what do you think the horsepower and torque numbers will be for the next generation Ram Heavy Duty? Can you predict the output? Predicting the future, I gotta look at the envelope here. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that on the, the, the Ram is, they can jump bigger numbers. Ford jumps up a little bit. Okay. I would say Ram's gonna go to, my guess is 950 torque, and I think 425 horsepower. Okay, you heard it here first. Um, by the way, Ram has not announced their next generation Cummins right. power. Um, and of course, a lot of people are wondering about this because this is torque wars. Oh, it's very competitive, this market, yes. this heavy duty market. So the 2017 Super Duty just came out with 925 pound feet of torque. 2017 GM trucks have come out. The big hood company. Yeah, with a hood scoop. <laughs> yes. Similar to that one, except so this one is not functional. Right. Yeah. <laughs> GM has a real hood scoop. <laughs> so there's a lot of competition in the heavy duty pickup truck market. A lot of state. Um, my prediction, I actually like your 950. I think it's a good number. And I think Ram likes round numbers. Yes. So 950 is a good one. I think their horsepower may be a little bit less, like 415. Next question comes from Maxwell Adams who says, when will you review the new Land Rover Discovery with the diesel engine? How do you define SUVs and crossovers and select them for testing? Well, you know, I'm a truck fan, so I like body on frame SUVs. Crossovers, not so much. So you know more about this than I do. Yes, and by the way, we did test a 2016 Range Rover Sport with a three liter V6 turbo diesel. We did it on the iGauntlet. You weren't there though. No, but I remember you came in and picking up trailers, so I didn't yes. see it. I did get to see it. It, it was really muddy. <laughs> I remember this. Um, and um, it did really well on the iGauntlet. You could see the video at tfltruck.com. It also was our most fuel efficient truck on the highway while towing. Really? Yeah. So you could see that data. And I'm excited about the new Discovery. Of course, it's now a unibody right. um, SUV or crossover and it's going to be full of technology. So he wants but, to know the difference between them, huh? Is that what he's saying? Well, he's saying, you know, how do we test, how do we choose which truck to test or yeah. which SUV to do it? Yeah, yeah, and the crossover is more car-like, more van-like, so it's just not my cup of tea, but... You know. But I'll test anything. <laughs> so next question comes from Isaac D. He says, what are the rules and regulations on towing dual or two trailers behind your truck? Well, I, of course, have a CDL, and I have an endorsement for multiple trailers, so okay. I can tow probably three trailers. But you still have length limits in each state. It's a little different on the CDL side, but you need to know what the length limit in your state is for you know, the whole rig, and you need to know the weight limit in your, your state for the whole rig. But a lot of states in the western United States, Kansas, Colorado, all these, you'll see a lot of fifth-wheel RVs pulling a boat. And I had a chance of towing a military jet, a Prowler Navy jet, <laughs> which had two pivots. One pivot was on the hitch, uh -huh. pintle hitch, and then the gear of the plane was pivoting. Right, so those it's, gear, uh, yeah. it's like a double trailer. Did you have something behind that too? Did you no, pull a little no, biplane? Or? No, okay, well, but I had the heck of a time backing <laughs> that thing up. Yeah. So it's not as simple, you know, you can't really easily back that rig up. Yeah. You have to have experience doing right. that. So it's, it's, you know, there are safety concerns with that. Okay, and the final question today comes from Josh Belthrop. Sorry, I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And his story goes like this. He's looking for a mid-sized truck. He says he currently has a 2010 Toyota 4Runner and he tows a little travel trailer that he can load up to about 4,200 pounds. Okay. But he wants to upgrade his tow vehicle and he's looking for a mid-sized truck specifically. 
Um, he says he's looking at the long bed Tacoma crew cab or double cab, but he also wants to go off road. So he's yeah. looking at the TRD off road packages, but he's also interested in the Canyon all terrain mm -hmm. uh, four by four with a diesel. And he says, which one of these would tow my trailer better and get the best MPGs? Well, the best combination of that, I mean, you know, we all love these Toyotas, they're off-road kings, uh, but for towing, I mean, I, I've never seen these get super great fuel mileage. I mean, that's not their goal. Their goal is off-road and, and having fun with it. The GMC Canyon, the Colorado, you know, small, small, mid-sized trucks with a diesel, it's going to get you by far the best fuel mileage. And, you know, you can get that in the six-foot two bed that we looked up. Mm -hmm. So that one in the uh, the off-road package, which is the, the all terrain, terrain, the all -terrain or the Z seventy one, right? And then yeah. I guess there's an X coming out or whatever. Yep. And so you take that, that will do really well. Just like we did, we had the, the four trucks up the hill, the mountain. Yeah. And the only thing wrong with the GMC, the Canyon, was that little nose chin. Take that puppy off. Take it off. You know, if you can do it without voiding your warranty, and that one will go anywhere than any other off-road truck will go. I mean, you know, these might be just a little bit better on the Toyota, but you get that all-terrain package with the skid plates, with the Bilstein shocks, with the good all-terrain tires, and that will go off-road like you want it to, and you'll be able to tow the trailer and get the best fuel mileage. See, that's a truck I'm really looking at, because that fuel mileage of that diesel makes a lot of sense to me. It's really got a brake controller in it for your trailer. It's got an exhaust brake for coming downhill. It's really set up nice for a trailer, plus I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it for an off-road truck. Mm -hmm. So that's that with my choice, is that uh, the all-terrain Canyon. GMC. I would agree. Well, first of all, 2016 GMC Canyon Duramax mm -hmm. won our truck of the year in 2016. Yes, it surprised us, but it had everything we wanted. Didn't yeah. It? yeah, it towed really, really well on IA Gauntlet. Uh, this is this truck next to us is a 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro, yeah. which is actually two inches taller than a TRD off-road. It's a little bit wider due to wheel offset, mm -hmm. and it's got Fox shocks. You know, this truck is ready for sure, off-roading. Sure. It's not, I agree with you, it's not the best. Tower, yeah, right. it can tow. Yeah, it can tow, yeah. and plus 4,200 pounds, it should be able to handle. We towed about 5,600 pounds. Yeah, with a yeah. Tacoma a yeah. few months back. Right. Um, but the other choice is the um, Chevy Colorado ZR2 off-road truck. Right. Is coming out soon. Yeah. And um, I just saw Nathan and I just saw it testing up in the mountains. Right. The prototype. Right. And that looks really interesting because it's once again it sits a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. It has a wider track because it has the, the those fender flares. Right, a little wider track, a little offset to the wheels like this has the offset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that might be an option if you can wait a few months. Um, the ZR2 should be unveiled in Los Angeles in November, mm -hmm. and so check it out and make your decision. But I agree with you. I think the GMC Chevy are best for MPGs and towing. Yeah. In the diesel, and if you remove the chin, you know if it's legal in your state. Uh, then um, it would be great. Yeah, and, it, and it's, uh, you don't say, tell us how big you are, but like me, I'm a heavy-duty journalist. I fit really well in the Colorado and the Canyon. I've got headroom for my hat. I've got my armrests are right. My big butt fits the seat. The, the Toyota is a little short. The seat's a little too close to the ground for me. I don't really get comfortable. But it's fine for off-roading. It's fine for the short trips. All day driving, I think I'd really go with the GM, the GM mid-sizes. Okay. Well, thank you for submitting your questions. and. We'll take more questions, so put them down below, or on the TFL Truck website, or Mr. Truck website. And what do you have here? Well, this is the Truck Nets book. Yes. Great book. Yeah. <laughs> we wrote this together. We, we spent the 5 o'clock in the morning for two months to get it all there. It was got, a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of facts and figures in here, a lot of things that will tell you advice on, you know, used truck versus new trucks, diesels versus gas engines. I mean, teenage safety driving, towing, payload, all those calculations, all the grosses. Actually, a lot of what we discussed yeah, is in the book. Exactly. A lot of your questions are already answered here. Try to find those tough answers to your questions, and it's in the book, and that's why it's here. And, and people are really enjoying it. We're getting great reviews on it, and it, it just tickles me to death that people who actually enjoy the book are using the book. And it's a guideline, so you can take it with you. You're shopping for, for used trucks or new trucks, and it's, it's awesome. And it's not a very big book. You can put it in your glove box. Yeah. There's, there's pictures of Andre. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go to uh, you can go to trucknutsbook.com yes. and there's some some links to Amazon and Barnes and Noble and other places where you can get it. So thank you very much. And if you noticed, we're wearing a new shirt. Yes. Um, it's a TFL car and truck shirt. I know you don't like the TFL car sign, <laughs> but the um, the back of it has the uh, 
yeah. of the truck. Yeah, the big letters so, of the truck. So. Um, you could also get the shirt if you support us on patreon.com slash tflcar. And we are trying to set up another campaign for shirts on our YouTube channel. So that's all coming hopefully by the end of the year for the holidays. Right. Keep your questions coming. These are great questions. You want to answer all of them? Send them in. Where do you send the questions to? Ask at tfltruck.com. Let's <laughs> go.